Okay, at the top of the page, okay, we have the relationships um, of the segments and angles within a triangle when you draw the mid-segment. By definition, a mid-segment is a segment that connects the midpoint. If it tells me that the length of JL is congruent or equal to the length of MJ, if the segments are congruent, that's what the dashes indicate. And if KL is congruent to NJ, uh, K, then that means K is a midpoint and J is a midpoint. So therefore, the segment JK is a mid-segment. So the properties from our, our exploration this morning with the warm-up or this afternoon is that the length of JK is how much of MN? Half. If you don't want to work with the fraction, you could also say that the length of JK, if I double that, I get MN. And JK is parallel to MN. So let's indicate with the symbols. Two parallel lines come by a transversal form three different sets or pairs of congruent angles, alternate interior, alternate exterior, and corresponding. In this picture, we have corresponding angles. Okay, so a pair, if I look at this transversal, we've got angle one and angle two being corresponding angles. They are congruent. With this transversal, if I put a three here and a four here, angle three and four are congruent. And with any two parallel lines, same side interior, so if I put a five and a six here, same side interior are supplementary. So that would be two and five, and then four and six. Now in number one, it says find the value of x and y. It's indicating that this is a midpoint given the marks, and that point is also a midpoint of that side. So therefore, I do have a mid-segment. And with a mid-segment comes parallel lines. So if I look at this transversal here, if this, is ang if this is y, that is congruent to that angle there, so y is 54 degrees. Corresponding angles are congruent. And looking at this transversal, if this angle is 78, this angle is 78, and then the three angles of the triangle at the top add up to 180. 54 and 78, the sum is 132. Subtract 132 and x is equal to 48. In number two, it's also telling me that S is the midpoint of QP and T is the midpoint of QR. Therefore, I do have a mid-segment. I don't have any angle measures, though, that are given, so I'm not going to use the properties of parallel lines, but the fact that the mid-segment is half of the length of the side that's parallel, or you could double the mid-segment to get the side that's parallel. So you have two relationships. You can say that 12 is equal to half of 2x plus 4, or you can say 2 times 12 equals 2x plus 4. No matter which equation you solve, you should get the same answer. What is half of that binomial? Half of 2x is 1x, half of 4 is 2. Subtract the 2, and x is 10. So we should get that on the right side. 2 times 12 is 24. Subtract the 4, you get 20. Divide by 2, and x is 10. So number three, it says you have an equilateral triangle with each side measuring 10 inches. If the midpoint on the three sides are joined, so first make a point on each side, and then you connect. But as I connect, this side is parallel to this side, so that's going to be half of 10, which is 5. This side here is parallel to the 10, because they're all 10, so each side is going to be 5. Because all sides are 10, so that each mid-segment is going to be half of 10. So therefore, the perimeter of the second triangle, 3 times 5, 15 inches. Now the properties of your trapezoid. At the top, you can see another word 
that the state uses for the mid-segment. They also call it the median in their assessment questions. So it's still the segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of the trapezoid. And it's connecting the non-parallel sides. Remember, in a trapezoid, you only have one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. So from our warm-up, we know that EF is parallel to both bases. So parallel to AB and parallel to CD. And what was the relationship between that median or mid-segment and the bases? So EF, that length is equal to, what do you do with the bases? You add them up and find the average. Add them up, divide by two. So it's one half the sum half of base AB plus base CD. Or you can say 2 times EF equals the sum of AB and CD. So I'm going to put, we have um, 1, 2, 3, 4 pairs of corresponding angles. So I'm going to 1 through 4 on one side, 5, 6, 7, 8. Just yell out the answer. 1 is congruent to 3. 2 is congruent to 4, good. 5 is congruent to 6, congruent to, good. And then same side interior, we're going to have 1 and 2 add up to 180, 3 and 4 add up to 180, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So in this first picture, first example, we do have a typo. I should say find the value of y and z. They're expressions are in the angle of the trapezoid, not the sides. So we're thinking about the angle relationships. Who can give me an equation to find the value of y? We're looking at this angle here and this angle here. Kylie? Mm -hmm. Subtract y, we get 3y. Add 17, we get 48 divided by 3, y is 16. What about for z? These two angles here. Yep. They are supplementary. So 9z minus 21 plus 12z plus 37 equals 180. 12 and 9 is 21. Negative 21 plus 37 is a positive. 16 equals 180. Subtract 16. 180 minus 10 is 170. 170 minus the 6 is 164. Divide by 21. Is 164 divisible by 21? Jarrett? Not an exact number, meaning whole. So can we reduce the fraction? Or is that already reduced? It's already reduced, so let's leave it as an improper. Z is equal to 164 over 21. The next question came from a state assessment. We can tell by the font. It says that in trapezoid RSUT, RS is parallel to TU. X is the midpoint of RT. V is the midpoint of SU. So therefore, this is a median and is parallel. They're telling me that XV is... 44, RS, 30, find the length to you. Well, if I go from here to here, I'm going to use a different color, and how much do we add? I wanted to change it to green, but it's not working. We add 14. So we must add 14 to 44, and we get 58. You could also say that when you double the median, you get 30 plus x, and 88 equals x plus 30. Subtract the 30, and x is 58. But it's the average, OK? Last one, find the value of x. You want to say that the median is half the sum of the bases, or you want to double the median to get the base, sum of the bases? You want to use half or no half? Half. So the median 
4x minus 9 is equal to 1 half of the sum. So maybe I should use a different parenthesis. We have to add 3x minus 4 and 2x plus 1. So that's 1 half of what binomial? 3x and 2x is 5x, negative 4 plus 1. Negative 3, half of that is 2.5x minus 1.5. So subtract 2.5 from 4, and what do you get? If you count up 2.5, 3 plus 1. So 1 and a half equals, add the 9 over, and what do you get? What's that? Not 8.5. 7.5. 8, 9. So now, and I forgot here, the x, divide 7.5 by 1.5, and what do you get? 7.5. 